Even on Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And just after I put out my video yesterday on the latest Oculus Go releases for this week, what happens? Another app drops. And the Serium dropped on the marketplace. Looking into it, it looks like it's a VR platform that's being pushed to help kind of share VR 360, 180 type content and kind of experiences in a kind of an easy way. And, not, and, and at the same time, sort of get money back, you know, an investment, I guess, on people's time and effort into creating these experiences. So the app itself is free, but in app you buy currency, which you can then spend on experience. Now you do get the first one free, which is you gonna be in shot through a cannon uh, circus, uh, but there are other ones. And I think if I tallied it all up, you need 2,100 points. You only get 2,000 points for four quid. So you need a little bit more than that to get it. But hopefully we'll get some points as we go along to sort of see. So what I thought I'd do in this video is it's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna go through every single experience from start to finish, and do them all. I'll put time codes down below to link to them all so you can kind of come back and have a little look and let me know what you kind of think about them or jump to the ones that take your interest and your fancy. Uh, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. And we'll sort of see at the end sort of thing, how much does it actually cost to get the whole package? I've already spent the money to get all the points, so I'm all ready. But let's jump into it, have a little look at the experiences. I'll do the free one first and then we'll crack on from there. So here we are inside Deserium. So you can sort of see they separate their content into four different categories. So you've got action, exploration, comedy, and thriller. And within each of these sort of topics, you do get sort of a, a selection of titles. You can see you do have a hand and a pointer. Uh, you do sort of use the trigger to select things. You can look at your wrist, kind of, and click and you go into your profile. And you can sort of see that's my random profile number. I'm level two. I have 2,075 credits. Um, and you can unlock achievements by playing certain levels and doing certain things. And as you can sort of see here, it's 300 points for £1.49, 500 for 2.29, and 1,000 for 3.99. And when you make your first purchase, you get double the points back. So it's probably worth going for the big one if you're gonna if you like this, because then you'll get 2,000 back rather than uh, 1,000. So bear that in mind. And as I say, I went through and cal calculated all the uh, costs. They do vary from about 100 points to uh, 400 points. So there we go. So the one you do get for free is this one. So Cannonball, we'll jump into this one now. Uh, there we go. You do have to download them as well to be able to play them. The only one I've downloaded so far is this one. So we'll do it anyway. So you can sort of see. Let me put me hand strap on. I don't think I'll be throwing this around. I believe they're all kind of viewing experiences rather than. Uh... Oh, let's turn the volume up, shall we? Oh, and we're flying through the air. There's a plane. That's a bit close. I've got my swivelly chair out so I can spin around and have a proper look. Oh. Oh. oh, and now I'm falling down a tunnel. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a bit tight down this tunnel. Oh, elevator shaft. Nice little world, underworld, some fast flowing river. Am I gonna move or am I stuck? Oh, am I looking for something here? I think it's, I think it's crashed. I think I'm stuck. Cause in previous versions I carried on going. Oh no, that's a bit, that's a bit rubbish. Ah, interesting. So let's uh, start this one again and I'll try again. All right, here we are, back where we left off. Are we gonna continue this time or am I gonna be stuck again? I think I'm stuck again. Well, I don't think there's anything for me to, to do or to press or... 
That's not a good show, is it, for the first one? For the first one demoing how this works? Well, I guess we're going to have to move on to the second one, so thumbs down for this one. When I did play it before, though, you go over the waterfall, you end up coming out where there's some dinosaurs, and then you get an achievement, but I can't do anything other than quit. So I guess it's on to the next one. All right, back into action. Let's go f to the roller coaster, shall we? So 100 credits for this one. So what's that, about 50p? Oh, and I got some experience points. Got a rookie. We're downloading, we're downloading. Yeah, we're downloading. Uh, we're getting some achievements. And let's go. All right, let's see what this roller coaster is like. So this costs 50p to play this one. So maybe I'll give my thumbs up or something at the end and whether they're worth the value for money. go. Hopefully this is, uh, I mean you get a lot of free roller coaster apps on the Oculus Go anyway, so I think if you're paying any money for any apps, uh, they've got to be a little bit something special. Although, if we go all the way down there, there's a fair bit of roller coasters to go through. Ooh, already I'm feeling a bit, woo. I'm kind of just sitting on this platform here, not actually in a like seat or anything. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. oh wow, yeah. That's uh that'll make someone motion sick. <laughs> oh, round we go, round we go. Oh, jump. Oh I mean it's got sound, I wouldn't say it's stereo sound. Like it's not surround sound. It's just kind of constant sound from both ears. Uh, some butterflies. Oh, and is that it? Do we just keep going round and round in circles? I guess so. Uh, is that worth 50p? Uh, I'd probably say meh. It's not terrible, but meh. So, middle thumber. So, meh. On to the next one, shall we? All right, let's move on to Aquadrome. This one is 50p again. So see if this is worth 50p. Extreme Jet Boat Competition is about to start. Join a crazy race in the tropical paradise. Go underwater to the ruins of an ancient city. Avoid dangerous obstacles and win the main prize. Am I downloading? Let's download 284 megabits. Uh, megabits, megabytes. All right, let's go into the Aquadrome. Once again, I'll have a little playthrough. Tell you whether it's worth your 50p. Ooh, do I get? No, there's no controls here. Or, oh no, you get it's, it's gaze control. So let's power on there. There we go. And I guess I steer with my head. Ooh, this is uh, a funky cockpit. Very dramatic. Ooh, headrest a bit close. Oh, what have we got? A 2D video. Uh, is this what it says? So is there a 2D video with a 3D cockpit? I mean, the cockpit's kind of cool. But, uh, you do kind of move your arms with your head. The video, yeah, the video is definitely not 3D. It's definitely a 360 flat video. Maybe it'll change once we get in. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm I'm super keen to support any developers who are developing anything, you know. So you know, 50p of someone's money for to play this, yeah, we'll have to see. Really, I guess it depends. To you, I guess it depends, you know, for you as well. You know, it's how much is 50p worth? So we're we gonna do any racing? <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, you ready? Three, two, no. Where are we going? And uh, outside we go. Yeah, it's a still, I would say, a pretty low quality video. It's not, it's not sharp. I mean, yeah, it's an it's a interesting concept. I don't think I've seen many other sort of 
360 videos where you're in a cockpit and then racing around. I guess you're still going to get to look around. It'd be nice if the video was crisper quality. At the moment I think it kind of breaks it a little bit. Definitely not going to get the motion as like the uh, the roller coaster. It's been a little bit queasy on that one, and I'm good with motion. Should I pretend to drive or sail? No, I guess it's not sailing. It must be driving, isn't it? Driving a boat? Yeah. Oh. Play along. Maybe if I maybe if I immerse myself in it, it'll be a, a different experience. Am I underwater? No. I don't know what's going on there. Underwater again? Yep. What's that doing? What are you doing? Go away. Oh, sorry, brush into me. So you can't see sideways, you know, like side side mirrors or behind me. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. This way, this way. Oh, fish bash bosh. Oh, what was that? Oh, we're flying now, are we? All right. I want to do something. I want to press something. I want to shoot someone. <laughs> I want a turbo button. I thought I was steering for a second then. What's happening here? Why have I gone into a third person camera watching them instead of racing? Am I going backwards? What's going on here? Is that me? <laughs> what? <laughs> so now, now I'm no longer in my boat. Oh, what's happening here? We're changing into an aeroplane? Are you going to fly? What are we doing? Submarine? Oh, now we're underwater. Okay, this is the underwater bit. So there we go. Lots of bubbles over there. It'd be nice if they gave you the option to download like a, a high, super high res version of the video. Because at the moment it's still. I mean, it's looking better underwater than what it was when I started it, but still, it's not, it's not super crisp. And I've seen, I've seen plenty of crisp 360 videos on the, uh, the Oculus Go. And what's happening here? We're going towards a underwater face? No, okay. We're going. I can't really tell where we're going. I wouldn't say this feels immersive. I mean, it's nice having the cockpit. There's some pictures of the boats on there. Um. Oh, got some fish fighting. All right. Hello. There's a big snake. Big serpent. Oh, is he dead? Was he scared away? What happened there? Nope, back to the top. Oh! He's up here with us now. Oh, bashing me around. Oh, that's uh, so super blurry. I guess that's because we've got water on our visor. Is that what that's meant to be? Yeah. And finish! 
Yay, it's finished! <laughs> eh. Eh. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down. I mean, 50p for a pixelated 360 video. I mean, the cockpit's quite nice, I guess. It's kind of fun, but the, the rest of it was a bit eh. I guess we're gonna loop now to the start of the video again. And let's just hold on for a second. Or is that the end and I've just got to back out? I think that's the end, I just need to back out. So you just press the back button twice to get out. All right, now let's move on to Mad Race. Another 100 credits, which is another 50p. Please confirm your purchase. Yes, thank you very much. Let's download that bad boy, 79 megabytes. Extreme race through abandoned post-apocalyptic city. Can you handle tons of adrenaline boiling in your blood? Ooh, I can, come on, give me the adrenaline rush, come on. We want this, come on, we want, we want the adrenaline rush. We're looking forward to this one. 79 megabytes, come on, let's go. Play, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there we go, another, oh, it's a proper 3D one this time. So the uh, car's 3D, crash test dummy who's driving. Oh, and well, then we got a, did I just trigger to go then? What's this? Oh. Go on then, uh, Terry, show me where you're going. Oh. Oh! Wow, he practically nosedived into that bit of concrete. Yeah, full 360. Looks like we could bring a we could bring a friend with us. Oh, how to get through there? Oh no, we're going a different way. Oh, down here. Oh! Yeah, Although it's not spinning around, I wouldn't say there's any kind of like motion sickness or kind of disorientation going on. I just have to caveat that I'm not the best with heights anyway, so maybe roller coasters you know, do have a slight impact on me. What is that? Some sort of tornado? Oh, up we go. How are you doing, Terry? Oh, he's, look, he's steering it. Spinning around. Oh, head first into the ground again. Oh, jeez Louise. Hey, eh, graphics are all right. The frame rate seems pretty solid. It's chugging along. It's quite pixelated, I guess, to look at, but it's moving, it's moving along at a fair pace. So yeah, we'll give it that. Oh. Of the side of the uh, the drain. I do like they've got a little uh, air freshener keychain type thing hanging down here. I can kind of see it in my vision all the time, popping in. Who's chucking them? Where are they coming from? Oh, I guess they're coming from the tornado. I guess so. Oh, and there's, that's the end. So thanks, Terry. Uh, I don't think we'll do that one again. Um, we're 50p. Yeah, go on, you can have that one. That one's all right. That's quite well done. All right, back into action. Let's go Mystical Island, shall we? How much is this? 100 credits. So we'll purchase 234 megabits to download. Megabytes even. Oh, I said it again. Mystical Island is a VR roller coaster simulator immersing player into the atmosphere of an exhibition on a strange, mysterious island. Alright, let's uh, get ourselves ready for this one. Alright, and downloaded, and let's go! Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go. Oh, alright. So, 3D cockpit. Look at the handle to start. We just got our hands down. Oh, and we just got a. 360 video. Although it is higher quality than the uh, the boat one. So what is this meant to be? It's like a bus, like a a tram, a train, I guess. That's not. It's not 3D at all. This video. I mean, there's kind of 3D depth. You can actually kind of see the the edge of the screen. 
outside of the cabin. So where the window is, I can actually see little black bars either side, but further out sort of thing, where the video is. So it's not even like taking up my full view. Kind of breaks the immersion there a little bit. I mean, if somebody modeled this, this, this uh, train, that's quite good, I guess. But uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't immersive. This doesn't make me feel like, oh, I'm moving or anything like that. It's gone dark. Oh, we're in a different bit now. Warning. What's the warning? Can't read it, it's too blurry. The same you can't, like, it's not a 360 video, you can't look out the windows. They're all blacked out. Oh, big spider. Big flat 2D spider. And a big one. Oh, gonna get squashed by a boulder. to a different area. We've got some water. Oh, some gunk on our screen. Nice. Oh, we're going back again. Are we going? Keep going. Oh, keep going. Keep pushing forward. Come. Full steam ahead. Let's oh, punch my, my laptop then. Push. All right. Oh, where are we going? Oh. Okay. Bear crashing. More angry spiders. Uh, can I see? Why is it? Oh, are we assuming the train's coming off the tracks here? Oh yeah, I guess the, the way is blocked. Can't go through there. So there's windows here, look, and they're black either side. So you can't see out of those. That'd be quite good, I guess, if the video's behind there as well. Make it, it might make it feel more, much more immersive if it was. I wonder if they'll update these sort of things. I wonder if this was recorded in 360. Is that the end? Are we done? What's going on here? Why is, why is the train moving as if we're looking? The whole train is moving. Are we being picked up? No. Something's moving. I think now, oh no, here we go. Oh, the music's picked up. We're meant to be excited now. Get excited, people. Get excited. Oh, yeah. Okay, that hit us. That did. I'm almost myself as flat as the uh, the video. Ah. It's not like it's got like surround sound or anything like that. Spatial audio. Dun, 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 dun. Stop! What are we stopping for? Is that the end? Can we... What? Why is the whole bus looking up? <laughs> We're meant to be in like a tram. Why is it looking? That's weird. Oh, what's happening here? Are we going to be fired? What's that? Let's get some jet boosters on us or something? Oh, now we're a flying tram. With some new, more majestic music. Eh. Yeah. There's no way we hit those tracks then. Jeez, I don't like that angle. There we go. Oh, spin that way. Spin that way. And in we come. Are we... Are we finished? Is that, is that the end? That's the end. Red screen. We're dead. Oh well. <laughs> uh, thumbs down. I can't, you know, yeah, I can't recommend this one. I mean, it's 50p, so it's up to you, I guess. But yeah, I don't recommend that one. 
Next we have Roller Coaster Sunset. So 100 credits again, so 50p. 38 megabytes. That's tiny. That can't be a very high resolution, surely. We're leveling up, we're getting some achievements. Virtual roller coaster on a tropical scorching island lost in the boundless ocean. Will you handle the dizzying maneuvers and breathtaking drops from an incredible height? I will definitely try. For dizzy and height. Uh, I don't enjoy high ones, but we'll see. Okay, it's a 3D roller coaster, so we've got to pull the, uh, the lever while looking at it. Let's go, pull the lever to start. So, the bird's not flapping its wings. The graphics are pretty basic. I can just about hear some plinky sound music. Oh, and around we go. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's go a bit higher. And down we go. And... Whey! I'll be honest, this is this is actually worse than the the the, uh, the first roller coaster we tried. 50p? Hmm. I mean 50p is not much. I and mean, I guess at the end of the day you're supporting a developer who's developed this, created this, and will maybe go on to do something bigger and better. Uh, with the money they're going to get from this, because supposedly it's like a 70-30 sort of split with how much money they make from this, with the uh, developers and the company that makes the um, the app itself, the platform. And there we go, meh, f f thumb, thumb down, uh, no, no, 50p, that was a, a dull roller coaster. you get much better ones for free. Nice try though, nice try. As I say, hopefully they're coming up with something a, a little bit smarter. Maybe they're going to work on it. Maybe that's going to get some updates. You know, if people spend the 50p on it, maybe they'll add some more stuff in. I don't know, but you'd hope. Right, now on to Gravity Train. 100 credits again, so 50p. 321 megabytes. Oh, one of the biggest ones we've had so far. Welcome aboard. Our gravity train is able to deliver you to any city on the planet in a couple of minutes. Please fasten your seatbelts as we've got a hell of a ride ahead. Ooh yeah. I assume we probably can't choose where we're going to go, but you know. So it's not any city, it's wherever they want us to go city, but we'll see. Let's, let's wait for it to download. Alright, downloaded. Let's hit play. What was it? Gravity train? <laughs> Took a while to download. Oh, here we go. We're inside a... Cockpit again. We're uh, gaze control to start it. There we go. No, it's another 360 kind of, well, 180 video, I guess, this time. It covers a bit more of the view, but it's flat. It's not 3D. It's not immersive. I guess. <laughs> We're going to New York, I guess, from the sounds of it. The, uh, the cab itself is kind of cool, with all these screens. Got some like elevator music going on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I do know that I think this is like a Russian platform. So I guess a lot of the text and stuff I've been seeing so far has been Russian. Interesting. I wonder how big VR is in Russia. So here we go. The video's not as bad as the boat one, but still not super crispy. Oh. oh, we're loading ourselves into a gun. Is that what's going on here? A bullet train, literally. And here we go. Now, you see, this just, just isn't immersive. I mean, yeah, we're inside this cab, but it could be anything going on around us. It's a real shame. Now, if they released a 3D version of the video, even if it was lower res, I think that'd be a lot better. Hello, robot. Just come and have a look. I'll come for another look. Hello. 
We scan this for. I'm human. No contraband. Let's go. What's this like? Going warp speed? Oh, we've got, we've got neon tracks now. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening to my train? It's going to fall off the tracks. It's like wiggling. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's got any motion to it. Like, I don't feel like I'm going, uh, or anything like that. It's just a video. Now I'm upside down. Okay. Around we go. Where are we stop? Nobody knows. Now for some reason my train's upside down and I'm hanging from my head. I guess my train works upside down. Oh, now we crap the screen. Oh, that's inconvenient. I'm gonna have that crack on my screen now just to make it look even better. <laughs> Yeah, I think the cracks stay in there. So we're keeping a crack on our screen for the uh, the rest of the experience. Nice. Oh, now it's even worse. Seven. What's going on here? Are they, are they fixing the glass? Is that what's happening? Ah, uh, it's fixing the glass, there we go. Oh, nice shiny new panel. Oh yeah, the audio chain's quite good there. Oh. We get a wash. We're going underwater. Let's uh let's go, Daddy O. Where are we going? Going back again? What are we going backwards again for? We're we'll just coming this way. No, we're going backwards. What's that? Oh, now just lots of red dots and killer glowing red fish. See, that would be probably really cool if that was 3D. Like a 3D video. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I'd download a gig video. If, it was, if that was a cool 3D video, I think it would be really good. Fish bounces its face off our screen. Oh, there's always a bigger fish. Always a bigger fish. Uh, uh. And now we're seeing fish butt. Alright. Yeah. What's happened to that fish? It's going all wiggly. Oh, now jellyfish. See, that was 3D. Oh, jellyfish look awesome in 3D. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. It is what it is. 50p, it's definitely more of a more of a content here. The video quality is better. It's uh, it's been going on a bit longer. Oh, a fish return. Where are we going? We now have some 19. Wow, that's noisy! Thank you for that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Now we've got some 1930s music, I was going to say, before that super loud water. Is this New York, is it? New York, New York. <laughs> it's like a Pimax coming down. <laughs> Yep. Don't know what that says. I guess we're here. And there we go. I guess that's the experience done. Yeah, 50p. Give that one a thumbs up. As I say, if it was 3D or 
a bit more immersive, it'd be quite good. All right, now on to Space Stalker. 100 credits again. Let's spend them. 102 megabyte download. Meh. This is an opportunity for you to try yourself as a spaceship pilot in the dim and distant future. Fight for your life. Fight for your life in the deep space. Spy f yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's fight for your life, maybe? Okay. Uh, 102 megabytes. Let's wait for this one. All right, downloaded. Let's go. Let's fight for our life. I'm looking forward to that. I've never fought, fought for my life before. Do, 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 do. do I get to fly a TIE fighter? Or a frigate? <laughs> we will see. Uh, there you go, it took a little bit longer than the other ones to load. So what we've got here? We have used touchpad to steer. Can I actually? Oh, I can steer. Nice. Interactivity. It's uh, a 3D experience. Oh, we can go up and down. I guess we've got to stay within this kind of, this tunnel, as it were, that you can kind of see. But uh, we can steer around things. Can I crash into things? Can we crash into it? Yep, we can crash into it. Oh, ship's energy status. Ooh, mm. mm, this is kind of good. Oh, I got, I got, I got breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can see that, lads, but 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 the dream is real. The dream is real. Although they're not probably much bigger than my actual breasts, but there you go. Uh, ah, I quite like this. Consider how small the download was. It looks alright. I can kind of steer. Oh no, I can't steer anymore. I wonder if I get to shoot, because I've got like a targeter. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Hacking the security system. Oh, got my pointer back. Got my lightsaber. Oh, wait, we shoot before. What's going on? No, was that shooting me? What was going on there? Oh. Ooh, what's this? Like fighter pilot mode? Ooh! Oh yeah, shoot, baby, shoot! I'm shooting. Shoot that, shoot whatever that is. I've run out of bullets. And what? Tilt down to reload. Oh, okay. I got tilt down to reload. Kind of, kind of satisfying to play. Boom, boom, baby. Oh, bullets. Oh, what's this big guy? Can I, can I just wreck him? No. I don't think I'm even hitting him, am I? Oh, yeah, I'm hitting him. Yeah, I think I am. Is he gonna shoot at me? What's going on here? Can I, can I shoot missiles? Oh, did, did he just shoot me? Oh, oh! Oh, I'm losing shield. I'm losing shield. Oh, oh no! They've got shields on. How can I? How can I shoot them? Oh, am I dead? I'm dead. Oh no! Mission failed. Well, that's an interesting one. Let's not restart that one, but uh, what was that, 50p? That's probably the best one we've had so far. Let's uh, jump out and have a go at another one, another app. So yeah, 50p, worth your money on that one. Check it out. Right, back in here. Let's go for the crazy swing, shall we? 100 credits, so 50p. 78 megabytes to download, we'll get that going. Take a ride on a fantastic swing in virtual reality. Soar to the highest scale skyscrapers and brace yourself for a breathtaking flight down. You will definitely remember this ride. Well, I'm going to hold that to them. I want to be able to remember this when I'm talking to my grandkids. I want to be telling them about this skyscraper ride, the crazy swing that I went on in VR back when you actually had to put a headset on your head and you didn't just plug it into the side of your head. All right, let's go. Let's go check out, check out this crazy swing, shall we? Oh. 
Oh, it's a full 3D thing. We've got, we've got a, a lifeless woman next to us. Is it like a weekend at Bernie's? Weekend at Bernadette. She's, I think it's a hooker. Oh. Oh, the, uh, the, the audio is spatial. So you can see there's speakers there. Oh. Oh, they crap. Yeah, this. Is she, is she meant to be screaming? Just start like, wiggling around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's screaming next to me, I think. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is uh, vomit inducing. Oh, now we're spinning backwards. Oh. Oh, actually, yeah. This is, uh... Oh, this isn't pleasant. Oh, now we're, like, double-jointed now. Oh. Oh, no, this is, uh... Not pleasant. <laughs> oh. I actually feel ill. Where's my table? Oh. Holy moly. This is not. I don't. I don't know what to say. This is disorientating. I, I'm not a great person for heights anyway, and this is just like. Oh, I can't imagine this in real life. Oh, imagine. Oh, I think these sort of things really exist. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I don't know why people find these sort of things fun. It's not fun. You don't find this fun, do you? Look, she's passed out, look. We've got some music going. I think the uh, spatial audio actually makes it worse. Oh, we're slowing down, we're slowing down. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Bloody hell. All right, cars. What are you sat there beeping at me for? Oh, let's uh, let's not do that one again. So I'm gonna leave you to it. But uh, is that one worth it? 50p. If you want something really disorientating, yes. If not, no. <laughs> Personally, no. But it was kind of well done. It was 3D. It looked okay. Weird sort of ragdolly woman next to me. Uh, a bit odd, but there you go. So we've done all of the, uh, what was that, the action ones. Let's look at the comedy ones, shall we? So we've got three in here. So Reckless Highway, let's click on that one. This one is 200 credits. So let's buy that one, so that's a pound. So 206 megabytes, Reckless Highway. Why is this one a comedy? Fill your shoes no, fill the shoes of a reckless outlaw driving a car along a highway at the same high speeds. Cops will try to stop you. How far can you go? Mm, I wonder if we can actually kind of interact with this one then. Interesting. So let's just let's let's uh, let's let this one download. Oh, and we're ready and let's go. Come on then, reckless highway. Let's see how funny you are. You're in the comedy section. I'm not sure if this is meant to be in the comedy section or they just ran out of, ac of action room. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Or maybe it's funny because it costs more. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, what have we got? We've got a, a car, we've got a, a key. I just started it by looking at it. It's all 3D. It's kind of cool. Oh, we can steer. But hey, let's go to the other side of the road. Chicken! <laughs> Are we getting any points for this or we just keep drive as far as we can? Oh, music crowd there. Oh! Oh! Police cars coming for us! We don't have a wing mirror. Oh, but I can see them behind me, I guess. Let's go this way. Idiots. 
Where is he? Where is he? Oh, what's this? Oh, a jam. Let's try to go through the middle. Oh, smash. Is the police car still after us? I can't see him. Oh, is that a tank? Oh, okay. That's a tank. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. He likes stretching his fingers. Oh, oh no! Crash! Oh, this slow motion coming out of the windscreen. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, and I'm dead. That's my dead body on the floor. My controller. My my result. Uh, we won't do that one again, but uh, for a pound, I'm actually kind of impressed. I would say that's definitely worth giving a go, you know, for a quid. Uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. Smooth start. That was quite good, good, quite good for a, for a pound. Uh, I'd be interested to see, is it endless running? Does it keep going? You know, maybe not uh, for this video, but uh, maybe I'll play it on stream one day and we'll uh, go through the whole thing. But let's jump back into comedy, shall we? Let's go to Candy Hunter. Oh, let's say that, was it comedy? I don't remember whether it was or not. Okay, Candy Hunter. So 100 credits, so 50p. 35 megabytes, not very big. Experience the world from a bee's point of view. Make a mess and find the candy cane at a New Year's office party. You better be careful. There are many obstacles to avoid. Ooh, I wonder if we get to interact or do we, or do we just get a flat video and we get like a a bee carcass to sit in. Oh, I'm on a bee. What do we do? Do we, do we just click? Oh no, I'm moving forward. Ah! <laughs> oh, he didn't like, didn't like bees. Oh, that looks more like a wasp, this thing. Nobody likes wasps. It's a full sort of 3D. It's kind of glitchy looking. Very pixelated. But uh, being a bee is kind of fun. We need to find the candy cane. There it is. Can we click on it? There we go. Oh no, he's pinched it. Oi! Oh, he ate it. Sting him. Sting him. Oh, oh, don't, don't squat me. Oh, hmm. All right. Oh, we're scared. Her. Oh, slow motion paper flying. Oh, this is to be fair. This isn't like disorientating like that last the uh, roller coaster thing. Oh, 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 oh! It's kind of game. Get it, get it. No, she hit it. Where's it gone? Where is it? You gotta just like touch the touchpad to do certain things. Nothing, nothing extreme. It's all on rails. You don't control it or anything. What was this? Fifty p? Yeah. Oh, got some licensed music. Gonna get caught for copyright now. Oh, there's the candy cane. Quick. What happened? Oh, he hit me with a newspaper. Oh no, did he kill me? Oh no. His hair. Oh, go back again. Let's go. Score, window, out, done. Mm. <laughs> okay, 50p to be, a, to be a bee, to be a wasp. Um, Yeah, why not, 50p, go for it. Final one in comedy is Mr. President. 200, so that's a pound, 50 megabytes. What would you do if you were a president? Start a war, raise the taxes, order a taco? Now you can try to do whatever. Now now you can try to do everything your way. Sorry, I had a brain fart then. I couldn't read the sentence. Oh, here we go. Downloaded already. Let's go. Let's be the president. It looked a bit like a satirical sort of. Uh, Cartoonish kind of Donald Trump. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, got a hand. 
Hello, Mr. President. How's your mood today? Click. Looks like President's job is boring. Let's do something funny. Okay. How about some funny videos from the internet? Check out your computer screen. All right. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Yay, funny cat videos. Now you're cheerful, keep it up. Board president is a bad president. So, can I? Oh, email. Urgent message. Go away, urgent message. Oh, penguin tacos. All right. I can't click on it. Can I, what can I do? Can I... Hello. Oh. Well, is that yes or no to what? That your tits are out. <laughs> All right, go on. You can have a, you can have a yes or that. <laughs> can I pick up things? Oh, you go. What's this? Oh, a shooter. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> nice. So we've got to try and point at things. Oh, oh, an email stopped me. The point is kind of weirdly kind of coming out of his wrist. What's this? Penguins with AK-47s. Survivor fire. Can I grab this? Or can I just knock it around? What? What is this again? Just, you just come to show me your boobs again. Alright. Yeah, they're still great. Thank you. Well done. Let's, uh... Can I do anything else? I'm smacking it around. So just press the bomb button. Why is my hand under the table like that? Why, why, what? What's he doing to himself? Stop, stop! Bonk. Bonk. What is this? Oh, is it emission? Oh, things I need to sign. The sign all? Sign. If I answer this, is she gonna come in and show me her tits again? Yeah, here she comes. She just wants to see my funny penguin videos. That's what she wants, isn't it? I know your game. Try and distract me with your boobs so you can look at my penguins. I know your game. So, should we say no? See what happens. He's still happy about that. Uh, shooter again. Uh, 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 uh. Boom! <laughs> oh, little uh, sucker gun this time. Oh, she's back again. D look, lady, go away. These are my penguin videos. Stop! And the president of the United States. I can't press anything else, I don't think. Right, yeah, fine, they're fine, they're great. Mm. I've, seen, I've seen them more than I've seen boobs in my entire life, I think, now. Can I, can I, do, can I shoot the bird? Oh, you can! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, can we knock these things off? Eh. Uh, other than keep answering emails, I don't... Mm. I think, oh, he's fallen asleep. Is that the end of it? Oh, he's going to sleep. He's, he's, he's fell asleep. I'm, I'm a sleepy president. Oh, did I fall asleep on the button? Oh no! Oh no, end of the world! I fell asleep on the bomb button. Oh no! Quick! So uh, do something. Oh, so what's this? You fell asleep and started a nuclear war. <laughs> okay, well done. All right, 50p, bit of fun. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Seems a bit silly. We've got Thriller, we've got Mirkwood House. 200 credits, let's accept that one. And download, 256 megabytes. Can you survive the night in a mysterious house filled with supernatural? Immerse yourself in an atmosphere of a real horror. Woo! I'll give it a go. Right, let's go. Throw some news at my door then. Have a quick peek. Trouble with being so immersed. So what was this? This was a quid? Was it 200 points? I think it was, wasn't it? Um, let's give it a go. Hopefully, I think as the point kind of value goes up, they seem to be a bit more sort of interactive, a bit more going on. Uh, worth checking out. Oh, so inside a car. No controls. Ooh. It's like some classic 1940s kind of style sort of horror thing going on. 
Can I control it? Press and hold touchpad to walk. Go forwards. Okay, you move forwards by pressing and then you look. To kind of stay yourself. I'm going to need to look for a generator. Push. That's a generator. Aim and tap to interact. Aim at what? That? Okay. Oh, not again. What have we got to do? Is it broken? Do I just keep going? Nope. Do I go the other way? Is it broken, broken? Alright, let's go this way. Go straight into the house, I guess, then. I clearly remember that I closed it. Or did I? Ooh, now we can control the flashlight. I can take care of it tomorrow. Okay. Let's... Let's hang our jacket up, and let's uh, play a bit of piano. And let's go in the bedroom. Can I... Am I stuck on a wall? Hmm. TV turned on its own. Can I? Oh. Okay. I just turned my flashlight off. Or did I turn my flashlight off? Or did it turn off? Oh, there you go. You pull the trigger to turn your flashlight off. <laughs> All right. Let's go back in the bedroom, I guess. I click it. There you go. No, it's locked. Alright. Let's go down here. Yeah. We go in here. Where's the phone? Oh, boards. Who's this dude? It's gonna be like one of the developers or something. Great little picture. Is that his wife? There are bugs in the wall. It's a bit weird the light goes super small when it's like that. I guess my torch is like super close to the wall. Can I not answer the phone? Just all right. Can I go this way? Can I go in here? No, probably not. Nope. Nope. Let's go up the stairs. Going up. Oh, hello. Let's uh, go this door, I guess. Bed, bed, bed room is locked. Why are all the rooms the locked? Key somewhere in the office. Oh, okay, we're gonna go to the office. I'm <laughs> spinning, <laughs> spinning right around here. I don't think there's any spin turning. Or is that? Oh no, is there? Oh, there is. If you swipe, you turn. Nice, nice. That's what we like to see. Do that from now on. Can I click that? I can't. Oh, there you go. Oh! What was that? Uh. You can spin turn. Okay, okay. Alright, oh, that's key. Let's turn around. Where? Where? Where's the door? The spin turn has messed me up. Is that the door? Is that the door? That's gonna be a big... I can hear something running around. Can I go to bed? No, no, no. No, not yet. I can't sleep without my bells. That is why, it's bells. What? What? As in his whiskey? Is that what he means? Is it? Is it in here, or is it somewhere else? Uh, down. No, we just go in that one, didn't we? Did we? Just double check. 
Yeah, we're just winning that one. Although, is the, is the bells in here? The bells, the bells. No, no whiskey, no whiskey. I still find myself turning even though I can now snap turn. Oh, what's this over here? Ah, look, oh, pills. Did he say pills and not bells? Let's have my pills, shall I? Pills, perfect. Ah, oh, pills. Sleep without those. Oh. That's not good. Let's go in here. Now we can go to bed. Where was the bed? Was that? No, it wasn't there, was it? It was it's over there. It's a bit it's a bit finicky trying to touch to open those things. All right now I can go to bed. No? Oh yeah, I'm in bed. Now I can go to sleep. Uh, what? Who's there? Who's? Oh, now we're up again, are we? Uh. Can we open the door? There you go. Is it? I can hear steps on the first floor. Burglars. From the first floor? We're on the first floor. What's going on with this painting? Why is it dripping? <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Uh, go over here. Oh, got on with the door. Can we click on it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Yep. Yeah. And uh, now the guy's actually smoking on that picture now. So do we? Can we get a weapon in here? Is there a weapon? Can you go in there? Where's the weapon? Can I have a weapon? Can I want a weapon. I'm still spinning around even though I don't have to. Is it anything in the kitchen? No. How about cushion on the floor? Can we try that? What's going on here? I thought I was stuck on a cushion then. Can we go in here? No, it's still locked. Where's the weapon? Oh, he's like a dead man now. What about her? Oh, yeah, she's messed up as well. Um. Where did I get a weapon from? Have I seen a weapon anywhere? I had a key. I had a key saw. Let's go up the stairs. Ooh. I'm stuck I'm stuck on I'm stuck on the, the railing. There's no, no weapons in here. Can I, a weapon in here? Can't find a weapon. Weapon, or maybe it's outside. I probably can't go outside, can I? Check all of the bathroom. Where was the bathroom? They're not there. Down. Oh, down there. No, that's not down there. That's not away. In there. Oh, what? Where is that? Where is that? What the hell? This is like a pig with an axe in it. Can I have the axe, please? Can I have it? I don't wanna I don't wanna turn around. Alright. 
What's going on with this house? It's all messed up. I can't find a weapon. I couldn't grab the axe. Where am I meant to be going? Where's the weapon? I could have grabbed the axe out there, surely. I know it's kind of broken, but you know. Well, my battery and my headset's running low, so let's quit this one and we'll save it for another time. If you want to play it, I mean, what was it, a quid? It seems creepy enough. There are creepy apps out there for free already, but you know, meh. A uh, couple of jump scares there. Let's try and move on to something else before we run out of battery. Fasten seatbelts. 100 credits, which is 50p. Download 233 megabytes. Imagine yourself in a plane at 11,000 feet returning from a vacation. Seat belt is fastened and a cute air hostess is serving drinks. What can go wrong? A plane is the safest way to travel. Right? Alright, download it. Let's give it a go. Fasten your seat belts, people. Are you ready? You know, this is the sort of thing like playing the, uh, the face your fears thing while you're on a plane. Which is like a, a dodgy plane one. When people start getting sucked out and stuff. So we have ourselves a full 3D environment. I'm sitting on a chair, guys asleep next to me. Oh. Sound like someone got shot. Everyone's like, ooh. This guy's still asleep. He didn't care. Bing bong. Oh. Maybe it wasn't, was it? I can't even see out the windows though. Oh. Why are they all rattling? Is it shots or is it just lightning or something? Oh. 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 What's going on? Are we going down? Oh, you're woken up, mate. How are you doing? We're going down. Oh, something's happened at the front of the plane. Oh, put, put the mask on quick. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, oh, bye lady. Bye, bye, oh. Nice. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. You can't just land on water like this, it's gonna hurt. Oh. Well, that was an interested landing in water. <laughs> Fell all that way and I didn't even get my hair wet. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? So that's a pound? Or was it 50p? I had 50p, wasn't it? Yeah. If that was it, nah. Spend your money on the Face Your Fears one now, that one's good. I just had to plug my headset in because I was running out of power, so I think we've done all of comedy. Yeah, we've done all of comedy. All of thriller. Yeah, and just exploration left. What have we got in here? Oh, we've got a few. We've got Dolphin Swim Club. How much points have we got? 475. Oh, I wonder if that's enough. Alright, 50p. That's 100. So I don't think I've got enough for all of this. Is this a 360 video by the looks of that little icon there? Let's download it. 767 megabytes. It's a chunky one. Did you ever swim with dolphins? Now you have the opportunity to experience healing, calmness, and immerse in the atmosphere of peace and serenity. Ooh, with dolphins. I wonder if it's a real video. They look like real dolphins, don't they? Hmm, I'm interested. Let's, uh, let's download. All right, downloaded that bad boy. Let's uh, take a look, shall we? I want to be fully immersed in 3D underwater dolphins. Let's go. The Dolphin Swim Club. Oh, the music's a bit haunting. Hello. He's got the 3D, uh, 360 camera. A healing VR experience. Hello dolphins. The music is kind of haunting. Not very kind of 
relaxing. Ah, oh, it's not 3D, it's only 2D. Still kind of cool. I mean, somebody's taking the effort to go out and film this. Where's he gone? Where's the where's the photographer gone? Is it just a floating camera now? Where's the guy? Oh, there he is. He's up there. But he's taking the time to do this. It's nice quality. I think for 50p, it's nice to kind of reward people, give something back to them. Before I see a nice, I mean, I've not seen a video like this with loads of dolphins before. That's pretty cool. Kind of saying it's a thumbs up. I quite like this. If only the music wasn't so haunting. For the love of people. Oh. Support the project. Oh, there you go. So it's just a short, what, minute long, minute and a half long video? The Dolphin Swing swimclub.com go check it out yeah all right 50 piece support them go for it exploration leviathan Ooh, 100 credits so 50p how many credits have i got left 275 download 242 megabytes the player will have to make a dangerous dive to a sunken warship face an atmosphere of danger critical situations and encounter the inhabitants of the sea depths nice Go on then, Sharky. Or Leviathan, we're gonna fight a Leviathan, is that a thing? Um, will I just wait for this one to download? All right, downloaded, let's go. Boogity boogity, ooh, what are we in, like a, a submarine, a, a gaze controller again to start it, and a 360 flat video. Boo! Submarine's kinda of cool. So I'm technically this guy, I've just twisted his head off. Ah, yeah, I don't know what he's saying, mate. Fixing me, submarine. Alright, well done. Oh, gonna drop me in. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the side. There you go. Let's go. To the deep. So what you should have like in this thing here is like spatial audio of like the pressure. Well, I was saying that the radio of that him just talking then came from kind of a different angle. So we're just watching this? That's what it is? Are we gonna move? Oh is that the uh that's the underwater boat? Hello shark. You can't eat us. Oh, and another one's gonna try. You're only 2D, you can't eat us. Ha 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 ha. The turtle? Ah, oh, this would be so cool if it was 3D. If it had some depth to the video, I think they'd be really, really good. Like, I'm sure this one, I'm sure they must, like, obviously it's CGI, isn't it? It's 3D generated sort of thing, so, you know, could they do a 3D version? Oh, can we fit in there or a giant submarine thing? I guess we're going to fit in there or we're just going to get scared by something. Is that what's going to happen? Can I turn some lights on? Oh, there you go, some lights. Oh, it's a dead body. Just, you know, just, just destroy your skeleton, that's fine. Yeah, no, don't, don't pay any respects to the dead, that's fine. Are we gonna go? Where are we going? Just open the door? No, where are we going? Oh, I just heard something behind me. Uh, it's not as pixelated as some of the other videos we've watched, so it's not terrible. Obviously, it's quite a big file, so you'd hope it'd be quite good. <laughs> the screaming in my face. Oh, well, this guy's just sat here, just kind of hands down watching what's going on. 
you and me both, mate, we're just sitting here, passengers on this submarine. There's one man submarine that is going on its own, sideways, through doorways. And then then enemies. And then then enemies. Oh, we're at our destination. Uh, move the dead body out of the way again. Oh, nice. Just destroy his skeleton. Nice. So if that was 3D, maybe it's meant to be 3D because that's just, just looks like it was like should be 3D. God, we're getting out of here quick. That was that's some quick reversing. It's more like a a virtual space just to watch a video than a, you know, like an immersive experience. Like you could put any video on here, I guess, couldn't you? Just you know, sit in it, add this to a chat room. That's some other people join you in your submarine. Oh, something's got us. Leviathan, giant octopus. I oh, know he doesn't really want us. Oh, does he? Oh, he does. We're in trouble, lads. We're in trouble. No, he's realised he can't eat us. Or oh, is there always a bigger fish? No. Get a little bit of surround sound of creaking and stuff, but not, not a lot. That was a whale just swims by. Oh, just bumped into us. Itchy head. And we're done. So we got whatever it was. I hope it was worth it. Whatever it was, we recovered. And there we go. Mm. Once again, if it's 3D, it'd be good. Thumbs down. What's that say up there? Freemake.com. It's a website address up the top. It's like half hidden by the screen. All right, exploration. We have four left. Wild Russia, Altay area. All right, 50p. 734 megabytes. Ooh, a nice chunky one again. Take a deep breath and prepare to visit one of the Russia's most interesting places. Enjoy amazing landscapes, wild nature and ancient culture. Oh, I look forward to it. All right, let's get going. I'm looking forward to seeing what Russia has to offer. Expectations are high, 360 video, okay. I'm happy with 360, doesn't have to be 3D all the time. If it's cool. Oh. <laughs> That's my bike. Video quality... Decent. But, uh... I guess a lot of people struggle with uh, getting high quality content onto the Oculus Go, so, you know. The, the video files obviously are large, gotta make a compromise. But, uh... An interesting little look around. Now I'm looking at some rocks. What are these rocks? Are they like anthill type things? Or no, like we're super close or something. I don't like that. When they mix up sort of wide shots of super close ones with 360, you're like, Ugh. it's like it's too close. Oh, it's like a bit of water running. Nice. I want to sing along with him. This is kind of cool. It's like running water. What was that? Is that cars? Yeah, I guess it's cars. But I was running across the uh, the background there. Oh, seeing people's heads there. Wow, this is all like near each other in Russia? Like you just go down the road and it's this? Or it, it, it was it one area, wasn't it? Huh? 
Mm, some horses. Lots of horses. Oh. Well, that's a good view. A Z360 production. So it's interesting. So these, obviously, all these apps and stuff, they're Russian. So that's their way of getting their apps into the store without having to go through the Oculus store. They just go through another store to get into the store. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 50p? Yeah, it's the sort of video you get for free, so meh. I can't necessarily recommend it, but you know. It's uh, always interesting to have a little look around places you've never been. Or never will go. Hopefully I'll go to those sort of places at some point, but you know. Right, let's go Spacewalker. All right, 100 credits for the stock on the left. Oh yeah, I have to buy some after this, I guess. I thought I was uh, earning some credits, but obviously not. 316 megabytes, immersive experience with fragments of Spacewalker movie by CGF Studio. Hmm. So with fragments, I guess a small part of. All right, let's uh, jump into this Spacewalk, shall we? Now it's downloaded. Like a good spacewalk, there's a, a good one on the rift. Uh, where you're kind of moving along the outside of the spaceship. I wonder if it's like that. So, in a blizzard, it's not exactly space. Could be a planet like this. Oh, March 1965. Oh, in a Russian. Space station? Oh, okay. It's a, a flat 360 video. Quality seems decent. Cause that tower's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Look at it. Oh. Is it CGI? I assume it is. Can't really tell. Everything's all wobbly looking. Uh, even the spaceship is all wobbly. Weird. Something gone wrong with a uh, video compression or something. Everything's all kind of like distorted. Not a lot, but enough to kind of see it. Like l straight lines are all kind of wiggly. Oh, so are we actually doing a spacewalk? We're just going to watch this spaceship take off. There you go. I'm taking off. Blast off. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're in the spaceship now. We're not actually the pilot. We're sat on his chest. Where is where is GoPro? Can't really see what's going on apart from going weightless. I think it looks like it's underwater, doesn't it? It's like a letter kind of like, like rippling. Weird. Oh, here we go. Hello, Earth. Hello, Hand. Yeah, we're like we're obviously his, uh, obviously his GoPro. That must be surreal, though, to be like in space, looking down at Earth. I mean, that's the ultimate height experience, surely. Or is it? Though? You know, like you're not falling down to Earth. So is it? Do you get vertigo looking back at the Earth? Hmm, I wonder. We're we going, what are we doing? Are we slowly moving out. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, don't let go. Ah. Bye world. Hey look, it's flat earth. <laughs> oh, 
Space, the final frontier. Oh. Oh, he's lost his GoPro. We're flown off into space. We're now just floating this way. Hello. I can still hear the chat. Based on a true story. True story of what? The Spacewalker. So I assume this is just a small part of a bigger piece uh, created by these people. So, hmm. I'm intrigued to see, or maybe learn, see what, what, what's that about? Is it narrative driven? I guess it's probably going to be Russian though, isn't it? So, there you go, okay, that's that one. So, 50p. <laughs> Next up, we have Africa. Right. Oh, do I have enough points? I don't, no. Oh, I need to go get some more points back in a second. All right, don't worry, I bought some more uh, points. So I bought another £1.50's worth, so in total, you do need £5.50's worth at minimum, so that's if you buy the 2000 to start with, well it's double, and then you buy £1.50's worth after, you get it. So I then probably still have a couple hundred points left over, or well, 175 because I've got another experience after this one to do, um, and then we should be all set and have all of them. But it looks like they'll obviously add more stuff going forward, so yeah, something to keep an eye on. For this, Africa is immerse yourself in the amazing world of Africa. Explore the beauty of exotic nature, observe breathtaking views, and feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. How is it going to do that? How is it going to make me feel warm? It's just going to be that, that, that sort of superior immersive feeling that's going to give me warmth deep inside. I look forward to it. All right, downloaded. Let's go. Africa, here we come. Oh. African camels, nice. Another Z360 production. It's got that waviness to it again. Good. Is that the cameraman over there, do you think? Because you have to go a long way to not be in the shot. Is that a city down there? Oh. Oh, nice, nice bit of view. Video quality is not amazing. I said it was almost a gig to download just this one video. Whew. Some sand dunes, some motivational music. Feel good about Africa, baby. Got some fast moving people here, look. Ciao. Penguins! We oh, like penguins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also this guy's camera. What's the camera he's got? It looks like a little uh GoPro, not GoPro, Samsung, uh, Samsung 360 2016, because it's only just like the little round one. I guess quality's not too bad for that. Ooh, lava. Ooh. He likes his time lapses, doesn't he? Just enjoying the sun. Ah. To be fair, I'm sure it's nice just to sit here in the sun. Look at this. Ah, well done. Uh, is that worth 50p? <laughs> I mean, he's taking the time and effort to make the video. He wants to share it, wants to make some money from it. <laughs> it's hard to recommend it because you get these sort of things for free. So let's look at the final thing on the list. All right, last but not least in our VR tab, in our exploration tab, is Very VR. Oh, Lion. 100 credits again, so 50p. That takes us down to 175 for uh, any future updates. Very VR is a virtual safari. Well, let's start downloading that. 
430 megabytes. Uh, filmed in 4K VR at Lua Wildlife Conservancy. Conservancy? That's not how you spell. Is that a word? Maybe it is. Kenyan, home of most endangered African megafauna. Experienced two interactive videos where you are feeding and communicating communicating with wild animals. Ooh, okay. Two interactive videos where we communicate and interact with animals. Well, there's a lion and there's his food, so, uh, or her food, so uh, maybe we should be careful. Right, let's go! The final experience. Let's go feed some lions. I hope we're feeding lions. My kind of expectation has now been set to feed lions. I want to feed lions. And it's just looting. Deserium. A little longer than all the load. Hmm, I wonder if there's some more stuff to this one. I wonder if it truly is interactive. Welcome to Africa. Oh, welcome. Please choose an experience. Let's choose lions. I want lions, baby. Let's have a little look. Near here, there have been sightings Ooh. of a female lion. We've got some commentary. If we're lucky, okay. the lion might come over and check it out. To throw down the meat, just shake your controller now. Yeah, but don't shake my controller. Where'd the meat go? Where'd it go? Where did the where did the meat go? Oh. Oh, okay. So now we have to wait. It's not really. It's obviously just skips forward a bit in the video, doesn't it? Here's a question for you. Oh, she's gonna ask me a question now. How far has the number of lions in Africa fallen? 60%. No, it's not that much, haven't it? 30%. Yes, I'm afraid you're yes. right. Yes, 30% they've fallen. The, number of the quality of wouldn't say looks 4K though. In the last 20 years. Looks more like 1080p. There are still some there. And here's one right Oh, here she comes. Let's see if the meat you threw down will bring her over. Go on, eat the meat. Eat the meat, go on. Uh, you gonna, no, you, you can't find it, you can't see it, it's there, it's there, you don't want it, it's not good enough for you, what, what's wrong with it, fussy eater, it, you, you just think it's weird that it just fell out, what's the noise, it's like a rustling noise, like, oh, oh, okay, this sound is out of sync, it started uh, making the noise of it sniffing the camera before it, uh, you gonna start sniffing the camera? Ooh, that's a bit close, isn't it? <laughs> it's like behind my ear. Oh, it's trying to eat it. Oh, uh, oh, it's like its mouth. I think this is like pinned down to the floor. This thing's gonna take it. Oh, now we've got a lion butt. I don't, I don't want to look. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's trying to eat me. I'm getting told by the Oculus Go that my storage is low, less than two gigabytes. Well, I have downloaded like Great. 10 so or so experiences today. To bring the lion over. Yeah, I got interested, but you want to eat it. Ah, uh, she didn't trust the meat. Hyenas will eat it tonight. Oh, we'll leave it for the hyenas. Offered meat to a lion. Oh, that's nice. I got to feed a lion. Guess we probably get an achievement for that when we exit this. I, I assume. And let's do the elephant one. Same sort of experience, I imagine. Oh. I wonder if the elephant's going to eat the camera as well. Is the elephant going to chuck some straw down and attract an elephant over? We've been told there are lions near here. Oh. Oh. We've been given permission what was that? to lay down some meat we bought from a butcher. Lions again? The meat, please shake your controller now. Shake. There it is. Very good. Now let's wait for the lions. I guess that it was uh It's now thirty minutes later. Oh no lions. Is the and they probably won't elephant eat it? Because we've got something. No. Did the elephant eat meat? Would it? It's proper a proper sniff. Are you gonna eat it? No. 
What are you gonna say? I know some animals are meat eaters, you know, given the opportunity, opportunistic meat eaters. So if they come across meat, they'll eat it. Like I've seen videos of horses eating little chicks Look and stuff. That. Of course, elephants only eat plants. So this elephant is not going to eat the meat. Not going to eat it, no. But it does seem like she's fascinated by the smell of it. Hmm, curious. These Good. Elephants are completely First meat-eating elephant. Naturally, they come across dead animals oh, there's more. The time, but they don't come across meat prepared by a butcher. Oh. That's probably why they find it interesting. They can smell butcher's meat. Like the smell of people on it, maybe. Maybe they think it's people. Mm, gonna eat it. Give us a little sniff. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they're not scared, are they? Yeah. Oh, they're all coming down the sniff. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, get dribbled on. You can get elephant dribbled. Bit of a weird thing. So this was meant to be like, I guess this was a failed uh, lion attempt. I got elephants instead and thought, well, why not? We'll do an elephant one as well. <laughs> oh, I think one of them snuffed up the uh, the screen here. Look, we've got a bit of a, a smudge on the screen. Where are you going? So these elephants have Hi. Will any others come? Let's see. Oh, we're carrying on. Yes. Look around. More elephants. Here's oh. another one who's fascinated by the meat you drop. Yeah. So you can attract elephants with meat. Who knew? Here's trunk. Look. She's quite detailed actually. You can ask up and close. Now that's not just any stick. When we were filming, we used that stick as a target for dropping the meat. Oh. So now it's got our human smell on it. Uh, she can smell humans on the stick. You see how she can hold a tiny stick with her trunk? She can. Oh her no! Oh. Why is she not going for the camera? Looks like this camera's like dug into the ground. I guess. I think she's fascinated by the stick. She pinch the camera. Hmm. Look oh. There's a jeep. Oh, another one. Hold on. Well, I don't think we need to keep watching this elephant. Let's cut this one short, but you kind of get the idea. I think uh, this app, was it a 50p again? Eh. It's kind of something you get free already on a lot of other apps, but you know, if you want to support this and the charity or whatever it is they're supporting, maybe it's worth paying an extra 50p, you know. All right, so now we've been through all the experiences. I bought 2,300 points and I'm left with 1, 000, 1, no, sorry, 175. You got 75 free, which is a bit of a con because that's not enough to buy any. So I'm not sure what their thought is there. They're probably thinking, oh, you only need 25p to get another one. But uh, we've been through them all. I know, appreciate this as a long video, but as I say, this will be uh, all chunked up and stuff here. If you download any of those, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about them sort of thing. Are there any that I wholeheartedly recommend? No, not really. I wouldn't say any of them were particularly great. Uh, I spent sort of, what, £5.50, which is about, what, 7 or $8. Uh, did I feel like I'd get my money's worth? No, I don't think I did. Um, but it's one to keep an eye on. I think the way they're kind of pitching it is that it's a platform for VR developers to share their content to, and the you know, people who create the app and whatever, the hosting, I guess, for it, will kind of share profits sort of thing. So depending on what it is, you know, you might be actually sort of supporting some charitable causes by doing it this way. Might be interesting. But uh, overall, uh, at the moment, eh, is it worth it? I don't know. If you enjoyed this humongous video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know down below why you didn't like it and I'll try to do better for next time. Subscribe and join the Remarkables and hit that notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.